start of a brand new day. Thankfully this time I'm gonna be headed west instead of headed east like I was going to the Blue versus Gray Valley. And it's about 6.30 in the morning and I'm gonna meet up with a group of riders coming up out of Memphis, Tennessee. I'm gonna meet them about Henning, Tennessee. And we're gonna take us a little ride up to Real Foot Lake. Coming down Highway 70. This is from Huntington, Tennessee. Uh, goes down to Jackson, I think, or just right about Jackson. Pretty morning, very pretty morning. Lots of hills, lots of curves. It's just hill after hill after hill. Pretty nice little morning. Woo wee! The smell of cow manure and skunks in the morning. Ah, oh, gotta love the country. I do my little video series, the back road tours, and this is what it's all about right here. I mean, it's, I've just had miles and miles and miles of shady, little old country two lane hills and curves and curves and hills but you just you get out here and you get to see the countryside get off that main road and just enjoy the trip i have just went about 20 miles nobody in front of me nobody behind me the whole way what look at this Ain't that just cool? Huh. Talk about an old town. Wow. Seven total, got one behind me. Mr. Wild Bill on his Harley bringing up, no, I'm sorry, Wild Bill's in the front. Terry behind me on Harley. He's bringing up the rear. Got a Harley Street 500. Pretty slick little old bike. The gas station back there had no public restrooms and they've all been riding for a couple of hours. So they're going to seek a place to unload the coffee. Which ain't a bad idea. On the road again. Going places that I've never been. Back on the road. Bill's still in the lead. Man, just freaking miles and miles and miles of this wibbly wobbly grooved pavement. Perfect temperature, still a beautiful day, and still enjoying the ride, but this pavement leaves much to be desired on this side. The 
why they are going down this side and not the nice, perfect, smooth paved side on the left is beyond me. But I'm just following along, so I get to ride it out with the rest of them. Hey, makes things interesting. Cruising down Highway 88. At least we're off that goofy groove pavement. This is a nice little road right here. Back like what it was when I was coming in. Hilly and curvy. Is a big old field. That is just absolutely cool. I don't know why, I just, I like that. I just, I don't know. Kind of makes you want to take a dirt bike and go down through it. See how many ticks and spiders you can collect in the first mile. Kind of bouncy right here. Man alive. 162.8 or 9 something miles in on this ride today. Just reconfirmed what I've reconfirmed when I reconfirmed it. I absolutely love, love love the silver wing
got a good bassy thump to it. Dog is. I am full as a tick. My goodness. Hey there, real foot late. The boat house, I think, was the name of that restaurant. The boat something. My goodness, that was good. Had the catfish, puppies, whole slaw, fries. Ah. Now I need to go park under a shade tree and have a little siesta. We're going to head up. We're on 22. And they're heading up to Union City. I'm going to stop off, I think, at Abernathy's Harley in Union City. Which all that works out just absolutely perfect for me because that's my route back home anyway. Union City, Tennessee. Nice big old place. Go check it out sometime if you ever up this way. A lot of interesting things there. Not just for kids. It's pretty, pretty interesting. at 273.1 miles right now that's by no means my longest run but 273 miles of riding in a day's time is not too shabby and they got a lot longer mile a lot more miles than that because uh they well they just they got a lot longer drive they got to go back to memphis tennessee so they're probably going to pass 350 mile mark, I would imagine. But all in all, in a recap, it was a beautiful day. The weather never got hot. It, it stayed very comfortable. I'm going to guess somewhere in the lower 70s all day long. Uh, relatively low humidity. It was a very good ride. Nobody, uh, at least to the point where we went our separate ways, nobody had any breakdowns or any accidents. And uh, uh, as you can see, I captured just about every bug down around real foot lake there on the windscreen i think but uh otherwise it was it was a good run and i hope you all enjoyed the video thank you for uh for watching remember to like and uh if you haven't already remember to subscribe uh, if you like the content of what you see y'all have a blessed day